Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing y'all my 150 gallon tank and telling y'all a little bit about the fish that's in here. The one that's up here at the front right now, that is the mean mouth. These are all local caught fish. He actually came out of Lake Bowen. This one came out of a private pond of mine. He is just a regular largemouth. Then you got two bluegill here and about a five inch white perch right there. I have about a 12, 11 to 12 inch pleco. He is the common pleco that's up under there. He likes to stay hidden. Um, all the rocks I had got from Lowe's. <clears throat> got them out the garden section. Of course, I washed them, cleaned them real nice. Got them up in here. You can see his tail up against the intake valve there. Little white perch got messed up last night. He got grabbed by one of the bass. Unfortunately, Let's see if you can. I have a about a seven eight inch channel catfish that likes to stay up in a log. That one right there is a war mouth. All these fish are locally caught. Basically, this is just me getting the tank started up, showing a little bit about it. Uh, the filtration system that I have on here is a Fluval FX6. It's pumping 925 GPH, which is a gallons per hour. So every hour is turning over 950 gallons in a 150 tank. That's about six times that it's turning this tank over. So awesome filtration. Oh, look, he came out for the camera today. Let's see where he's going. He's going on to his algae wafer. I have some clams in here. These came from Lake Bowen as well. Along with, where is the snails? Oh, here's one of the snails. The snail also came from Lake Bowen. <clears throat> This guy did not come from Lake Bowen. He came from a little river off of 29 over in Westgate. And then I also have a very, very small soft shell turtle. I left this plant floating around to give him something to sit on. There he is. So far. And then I also have the Fluval 300 watt heater because one of my buddies wishing I was fishing 73 has a red tail catfish that's outgrowing his tank so in about a week's time once I get back from California we're gonna get him settled in here once I get the red tail in here I'm gonna start doing feeding videos with the bass show y'all how ferocious this little rare mean mouth is and most y'all probably haven't heard of a mean mouth your mean mouth bass is a cross between three different species and it can go either way so he can be either a spotted and a large mouth or a large mouth and a small mouth mix so and then when those two or those three fish breed whichever variety they do produces a mean mouth which is a very, very aggressive fish. And see, he's, he has his little territory and he doesn't like nobody being in there. Of course, then the regular large mouth, he's just, you know, chill. It doesn't matter which size of fish, he wants to chase them all. So, <clears throat> here in about two weeks, I'm going to shoot a feeding video. We're going to see how that goes. See if I can get him to feed on camera. And there he is. just back there showing off. Anyways, I hope y'all like it. Y'all stay tuned for the feeding videos. Like I said, in about a week's time. Maybe two weeks. We're going to get the red tail in here. And then I'm going to start doing all the feeding videos with them. Get everything settled in. Let the red tail adapt to his tank. And then we'll go from there and see how he reacts with feeding. And 
probably in that time frame I'll go over the lighting system that I have in this. I do have a 72 inch Orbit Marine Pro which does a lot of cool shit. It has storm settings, it has a cloud setting, it has moonlight settings, it has about 12 or 13 different settings. You can customize your own settings. It is this little thin bar right here is the actual lighting stuff itself. I'm gonna break out the camera because the whole controls of this light is via Bluetooth on my cell phone which my cell phone has became the controller to the light. It is programmable. Basically you program the sunrise, the daylight, the sunset, and your night settings and it all cycles it by itself so it's a program it and forget about it. You can go in there and do storm settings with it and I'll shoot a couple of videos of all the different settings it has, what it looks like in a tank, how everything's flowing, the lightning strikes and everything like that. <clears throat> Anyways, thank y'all for watching.